This is so important. Every week we hear horror stories of what's happening to women across the nation. Yeah. You were talking earlier about reproductive rights. You are on a tour around the country talking yeah. about this. And I, you know, what is the solution? What are you saying? What are you hearing? Re-elect Joe Biden, President of the United States. And, <laughs> and, and, and vote a majority of people in the United States Congress who agree that one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. If she chooses, she will talk with her priest, her pastor, her rabbi, her imam, but it should not be the government telling her what to do. And that's all I believe that is really required. We are not asking anyone to abandon their personal beliefs. Right. It's just that the government should not, in, in this year of our Lord, 2024, mm -hmm. The government should not be telling women what to do with their bodies. And so it's that basic. And, and I'll tell you again, I am traveling the country. I've been, I'm, I'm starting on a, I did the college tour and starting January 22nd, which is the anniversary of Roe v. Wade. I'm starting a, 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 a tour on fighting for our reproductive freedom. And I'm gonna tell you, traveling our country, Listen, you know, so many of us actually grew up when Roe was intact. Mm -hmm. And we would absolutely say we must protect it, we must protect it, a woman's right to choose, but we, we kind of believed it was always gonna be there. Yeah, yeah. we did. <laughs> yeah. And look what happened. Yeah. yeah. And I say that in the context of this democracy also. Don't take anything for okay. granted. Yeah. Um, we must fight for it. And so on this issue though, guys, listen, traveling the country, we're all adults. Women are having miscarriages in toilets. Yeah. Women are going to an emergency room for medical assistance with a miscarriage, and the doctors are so afraid that they might be jailed because in places like Texas, yes. a doctor can go to can prison, go to prison. Yeah. That, yeah. that women are, are developing sepsis, and it's only then that they're being treated in an emergency room. It's a real issue. It's one of the biggest issues in this election. Everyone has a role to play.